Hello, my name is Ron Frazard, and this is the last part of a five-part series on how to pack a pump with mechanical packing. This episode, we are going to cover starting the pump after installing the packing. One of the biggest issues with starting a packed pump has to do with understanding that the flush needs to be turned on before the pump is started. I've had many operators tell me that their training specifically told them to turn the pump on first before the flush. This is wrong. This floods the packing with solids and already starts embedment of the packing in the first couple of minutes of operation, reducing packing life and damaging shafts. Another critical issue that is often overlooked is breaking in packing right after installation. Tightening instructions from the manufacturer are important since fiber materials and lubricants react to heat differ differently. For example, a PTFE-based packing holds heat in and thermally expands drastically, resulting in excess heat to the point of glazing. Glazing of PTFE can cause harsh chemicals being released and hardening the packing that destroys shafts and, do not, and does not seal. PTFE fibers or lubrication needs extra time to break in, making sure there is no heat wave being created that can cause glazing. Graphite and carbon fibers dissipate heat extremely well compared to PTFE and can be tightened at a faster rate. Continue tightening the pump packing until a controllable leakage is achieved. This term, controllable leakage, can mean different things to different people. It also has to do with many factors, including stuffing box dimensions compared to the packing size, the tolerance on the clearances in the box and the gland on the pump, the shaft centeredness in the box, and the quality of the pack, uh, pump packing being used. Regarding the quality of the packing, some issues to consider are the purity of the materials and the density and gaps in between the strands of the braid. This is based on the braiding machine's weights and tensions of the fiber during manufacture. Some packings can get to an extremely low leak rate, but with PTFE it is advised to keep some leakage since it is the only method to get frictional heat out of the stuffing box. Making adjustments on the packing is going to be based on a few factors. The biggest one is the number of rings in the box. Five rings will have more consolidation than three and require more time in adjustments. Also, extrusion, as I mentioned earlier, will cause more adjustments. Another factor to consider is the larger the cross-section of packing, the larger the percent of compression, and the larger number of adjustments. One technology that can be used to lower the amount of times pump packing needs to be adjusted is rotary live loading. By using springs on the bolts of the pump, it gives more travel in the connection. When the packing consolidates, the springs move to cover the travel, resulting in lower leakage during the consolidation period. This results in lowering the number of adjustments of the packing. Adjusting packing also should be part of any training program of operators. For example, many packing failures can occur when the packing is over-tightened during a retorque. Only short flats should be done, and if it is PTFE-based packing, there should be a time break between adjustments to allow for the packing to heat up and grow without glazing. Well, I hope you have enjoyed this five-part series, and as I had stated before, if you have any further questions, feel free to contact our team. Thank you.